Before we get today's video started, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay in the know on Texas Tech athletics all year long. We're not just talking about football, men's basketball, and baseball on this channel. We'll go a little deeper, talk about men's golf, women's golf, tennis, cross country, track and field, volleyball, soccer, you name it. If it's involved in Texas Tech athletics, we will talk about it here on this channel. So again, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 800 subscribers and stay in the know on Texas Tech athletics all year long right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel. All right, so let's jump into this real quick as we're going to look ahead to the weekend for Texas Tech Athletics. We'll talk about football here in just a little bit, but I want to start with Texas Tech Volleyball as they welcome four teams into Lubbock for the Red Raider Classic. And you've got SMU, Oral Roberts, and Arizona State alongside UT, RGV, and Texas Tech Volleyball. Well, They've got a loaded weekend. They'll start off with SMU on Thursday. Be sure to go support these ladies, by the way. Then they play Oral Roberts as well on Friday. And then also Arizona State, a doubleheader for Red Raider Volleyball on Friday night. And then they'll wrap up the tournament against UTRGV on Saturday. Now, as well on Friday night, Texas Tech Soccer welcomes in the Bulldogs of Fresno State. Coach Tom Stone and those ladies look to get above 500. They currently sit at 2-2-2 two, two, and two on the season, but they've shown a little bit of progress and they've got a little bit more run. And that midfield attack is starting to push forward for the Red Raiders as really that back line has saved them in some of their games with Madison White in goal. But now they're starting to find their groove after lo losing Kirsten Davis to the professional ranks in graduation as well. They're trying to find that girl in the upper part of the field that can push and attack the Texas Tech Red Raider midfield with her. And they're starting to find that a little bit. But they will have their game over at John Walker so Soccer Complex excuse me, on Friday night against Fresno State. Now, it doesn't stop there when it comes to Texas Tech action in Lubbock this weekend. Cross Country will hold the TTU Open in Lubbock. The first uh, gun, I guess the start of the race, will be at 8.15 in the morning. And as I mentioned, Texas Tech Volleyball will also play um, UTRGV on that day. But the big event on Saturday in Texas Tech Athletics is is obviously going to be the football game that is being held out in Raleigh, North Carolina, where the Red Raiders will face off against the number 16 Wolfpack in Raleigh. Now, women's tennis also has the Lubbock 15K on Sunday. That'll be the wrap-up to a very busy weekend in Texas Tech Athletics out in the 806. But let's talk about other big things going on in Texas Tech Athletics like men's golf, Ludwig Aberg is the number one player in the PGA Tour U rankings, which is the PGA Tour University rankings, the college rankings. And Ludwig has been absolutely dominant for men's golf for a long time now. I mean, he's one of those guys that is probably one of the most underappreciated athletes on Texas Tech's campus. He has done absolutely everything that you want a Red Raider to do in terms of winning and just handling themselves off the course. He is an absolute stud, and he now sits at number one in the PGA Tour rank. So if you like Ludwig Aberg, if you like golf and you want to give a shout out to him, be sure to like the video and let us know down in the comments as well. Now, we're not done there in terms of the positive news for the Red Raiders as a former Red Raider and I think you can barely see him right over there on my wall right there. But, hey, he's found a new NBA home, and I am talking about Jarrett Culver, the number six overall pick in the 2019 draft, has signed a two-way contract with the Atlanta Hawks. He finds, the Atlanta Hawks, excuse me. He's found a new home. And you think about his career path, and it, it's kind of unfortunate, right? Minnesota traded up in the draft to number six. They thought they were going to get Darius Garland. The Cleveland Cavaliers took him, so they drafted Culver instead, and it never felt like he got a real opportunity there in Minnesota. They trade him to Memphis, and Memphis is one of the worst places you can go in Jarrett's position where you need to play. And he just didn't have an opportunity because the guys in front of him, whether that's Bain, Anderson, as well as Brooks, they had countless wings, and now he goes to a place in Atlanta that likes to run a little bit. Jarrett has been very good in transition, still needs to work on his shot, but he has an opportunity to make that roster in Atlanta for a very good team that just added Devontae Murray 
as well this offseason from the San Antonio Spurs. So we're going to get to see Jarrett Culver a little bit more in the NBA, and hopefully he can find a landing spot for the, well, foreseeable future in terms of his NBA career. Now, I found this super interesting on the football front, and this is just a simple video to let you know what's going on in Texas Tech Athletics this weekend, but I found this super interesting. Texas Tech football has the number one ranked linebacker, according to Pro Football Focus College Edition, and it's Kershaw Merriweather. He is the number one ranked linebacker in all of college football, and if you've watched the first two games, you could see why. These were his rankings in terms of overall in the run game as well as other. Overall ranking is a 91.2. In the run game, it's 90.2. In pass rush, it's 74.9. And in coverage, he's at 84.2. Kershaw Merriweather has taken that next step in terms of being a great linebacker. And I just want to read some of his progressions through his time at Texas Tech. In 2020, he ranked at 62.8. That was his grade from Pro Football Focus. Last year, he was a 49.1. It really wasn't that great, but through two games, he is the number one ranked linebacker in all of college football, and you can show it. The biggest thing for me with Kershaw Merriweather is you knew he was going to be great in the run game. What was that pass protection going to look like? And I'll be honest with you, he has absolutely stunned me in some of his pass protection reads and really just assignments. We know he can move sideline to sideline, but that's not coverage. That's ball chasing, right? He's done an unbelievable job in zone, being the spy, and also helping off coverage. He is a true linebacker one. And really, I think if he continues this, I, I, I guarantee you his grade fluctuates every now and then depending on the game. But overall, he is one of the best linebackers in the country. And one of the main reasons Texas Tech's defense has been absolutely phenomenal in the first two weeks of the season. So again, if you like what you're seeing from Kershaw Merriweather, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, guys. It really does help us out here. It allows us to get these videos out daily to a wider audience and really just promote Texas Tech Athletics in a positive way. So again, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Help us get to 800K. We're giving you daily videos here. What else could you ask for? Nobody else on YouTube is doing this in terms of interacting with you as well. So again, be sure to hit that big red button and turn it gray to stay in the know on Texas Tech Athletics all year long right here on the Back to 12 podcast channel.